Hello and welcome on this rainy day as we travel to the Hilton Doubletree Hotel in North Queensferry, Scotland. If you're travelling to this hotel from the north of Scotland, we'll be heading down on the M90 and from the south you'll be heading up the M74 and onto the M8 and over the bridge. This hotel is situated approximately 10 miles from Edinburgh around about 45 miles from Glasgow city centre and around about 50 miles from Dundee city centre. And the real selling point of this hotel and why it's popular with weddings is the fact that it has the beautiful view of the three bridges. We are lucky enough to have stayed in a few of the different room categories here so we'll take you on a tour of all three. This is the first one which is one of our favourites due to the view and the fact that it's also behind this secondary door. You get a glimpse there of the Firth of Forth and the road bridge and this is a King Deluxe room with river view. So this room, as you can see on the right hand side, is the wardrobes and it's got a safe in there as well. Full length mirror, he's been here before, straight over for the view. For us, we have a shower room at home and therefore always request a bath if possible in the room. And this has got the heated mirror, it's got the benefit of having the ceiling speaker as well and it has the bath with the shower over top. As you can see, all the storage, including drawers there, we have our hot drinks set up. It includes the usual stash of teas, coffees, although it comes with hot chocolate and shortbread, king size bed, and they set up for this view. So you can see this from your bed. We've got the chairs there and desk, and that's the main bridge and the older road bridge on the right hand side. Really spacious room for a king executive. Unpacked and straight for the bath bomb and into the bath. The next room we're going to show you will be the junior suite and this is room 450 in particular. This is in the first elevator block. Again, spacious room. Different layout to the executive room. We have lots of storage there including a fridge, and cupboard space and drawers, the desk with the mirror, left us kindly some hand cooked crisps and chocolate tea cakes and a couple of bottles of water. Again, good wardrobe space, safe in there, iron. There was also some bathrobes. Slightly different setup because you've got the chair in the corner, huge flat screen TV, lovely decor as well. It does feel like a suite in comparison to the executive room. And the bonus of this room is you get a view of all three bridges, which is quite unique. And this was just before the fog decided to descend down this day. This is currently under COVID regulation, so we've still got to wear our masks within the hotel. And this here is the bathroom, which huge mirror space. And the fact that it's got a bath and a separate shower is a bonus. really love the design of this shower and the layout and this is probably my favourite bathroom in this hotel. Once again, straight into the Epsom lavender salts and into the bath. The view, as I said, from this room is beautiful and that includes at night time. The final room we have to show you at the moment is the upgraded suite and we stayed here in Valentine's before heading out towards Tallinn. Again this is lovely and left behind additional complimentary drinks and two drinks vouchers alongside the cookies which were standard pre-Covid and we had a couple of Edinburgh gins there in the bar. Lovely decor in this room similar to the other suite and it comes with a freestanding bath which is always a nice treat and the double size glass shower cubicle. Huge bathroom space 
and then a huge living space as well so a small glass table and chair there and then the corner suite and this window looks out onto the main road bridge which is in use at the moment and again it lights up at night time it's a really good view and then the other window heads out towards the other two bridges it's just hard to see there with the reflection another nice part about this as well as having the living room set up there that divider has actually got a revolving mirror and TV so you can watch in bed or watch while you're in the living room or watch yourself in bed with the mirror whatever takes your fancy but it's a really nice room well thought out and feels really spacious we'll move on to breakfast and pre-covid it was a hot and cold buffy setup and we have recently stayed a couple of times post pandemic or during the pandemic and you can see we've turned the bar instead into a small continental pre-packed individual item set up for safety with all the usual things and they're doing a hot menu which includes the pancakes pictured there and the bagels with smoked salmon and eggs or the choice of a hot breakfast with a selection of the usual items bacon sausages etc the views are wonderful even in the winter sun it's really nice place for a meal really nice place to eat your breakfast always ask for a window seat if there's one free and finally the fitness center even though it's currently in covid19 pandemic it is open with regulations in place it's a good roomy area cardio equipment and weights and i always like to try and work off some of that breakfast before we head out for the day One thing I would recommend is heading down to see North Queensferry at night time. It's a beautiful view, you can walk right along to the rail bridge that's still in use and it's not always great weather. I would recommend bringing something with you so you can wrap up and really enjoy the views. It's definitely my recommendation if you're going to be staying at this hotel. As always with our videos, if you want to see part 2, it'll include what to do in and around Queensferry and a look at the Fife Coastal route. Any questions, leave your comments. Thanks for watching and hopefully see you all soon.